What's up, my little pog champ? It's me, it's Gigi. Hi, hello. I came back and I have more hypnosis for you, and it's by Debo again. Oh, he's my favorite hypno writer. And this is a part one of, I think, a three part series. So if you like it, please let me know in the comments or like leave a like. <laughs> uh, yeah, all that good YouTuber stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for listening, and I hope you're cozy and safe. Let's get started. Hey, Rumi. What's up? You busy right now? I kind of need your help. We've been learning about something in class, and, you know, we've practiced it a bit, but we didn't get to do it properly. It's pretty cool. The professor said I had a real knack for it, too, so... Um, there's a practical coming up next week, and I really want to do well on it, you know? So I've got to get some more practice in. Mm. Massage therapy? Yeah, it's massage therapy. I want to practice my... Massage skills on you. Come on, please. Pretty please. It'll feel really good, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I have magic hands. <laughs> mm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You're the best. All right. So, make yourself comfortable, and I'll be right with you. I'm just gonna put on a little music to help set the mood. Okay. How's that? It's okay if you don't really hear it. It's only there to provide a bit of background. I'm going to have you listen to my voice, anyway. <laughs> now let me just dim the lights a bit, and... Oh, uh, we're all set. I'm gonna come stand behind you, okay? <laughs> Don't look at me, silly. Just look straight ahead. That's better. I'd like you to pick a spot on the wall and focus your eyes on it. Pick something right above eye level. And keep your head straight. Look slightly upwards with your eyes. Hey, which one of us is studying psych here again? I know what I'm doing, trust me. This is how it's done. Maybe you've never had a proper massage before. So, shush, <laughs> and just do as I say, all right? That wasn't so difficult, now was it? Now, let me get started on loosening up your muscles. I'm going to focus on your shoulders first. Gently pressing my fist into the muscles, working them with my knuckles, and then pushing a little deeper with my thumbs. How does that feel? Is the pressure okay? All right. You know, a good massage doesn't just relax the body but the mind too. That's why I'm having you stare at that spot on the wall. By having you look above eye level, your eyes naturally want to look down again. So you have to concentrate a bit to keep focusing on the right spot. And while you're busy doing that, you're not really thinking of anything else. And that's kind of the point, really. 
<laughs> There's also the fact that it's somewhat tiring on the eyes. It's the same basic idea as progressive muscle relaxation. You know, tensing up the muscles before letting go. By temporarily increasing the tension, by tiring out the muscles, they feel so much better when you let go. Speaking of tiring things out, your eyes must be getting tired too by now. Yeah, I can tell. They're getting tired and heavy. That's all right. I need you to keep your eyes open for a little while longer, though. The longer you focus on that spot, the better it's going to feel when your eyes finally close. And it's going to feel so very good. Trust me. It won't take much longer, either. I just want to give you a small demonstration of that relaxation technique I was talking about first. So, I'm going to move my hands up your neck to the side of your head and massage your temples for a moment. Yeah, just like this, rubbing your temples with my fingertips. And while I do this, I'd like you to tense your upper back and your shoulder blades. Pull back your shoulders. Don't forget to keep your eyes on that spot on the wall and push your shoulder blades back as much as you can. Yeah, push out your chest. Try to make your shoulder blades touch. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, release. There you go. It feels good, right? Yeah. Now, take a deep breath in. Hold it. And let it out. And as I start to work the muscles of your back now, I want you to notice how wonderfully relaxed your back feels. So loose and limp and heavy. Just like your eyes are feeling so very heavy now. Can barely keep them open anymore. But that's all right. You can close them very soon. Just take another deep breath in. Hold it. And think about how good it's going to feel when you close your eyes. Breathe out. Now close your eyes. And relax. That's it. There you go. That feels good, doesn't it? Like a wave of relaxation spreading from the top of your head all the way to the soles of your feet. Keep breathing deeply. In. You feel loose and limp and heavy and so very, very relaxed. And as wonderfully relaxed as you are right now, I can help you feel even better just by doing a little guided meditation. Feeling even better sounds wonderful, doesn't it? 
Yeah. It's so very easy, too. All you have to do is focus on the sound of my voice. Listen and follow my instructions. Take another deep breath in and let it out. Relax. Focus on my voice. Focus only on my voice. <laughs> Hypnotizing you. Shh, 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 shh. Of course I'm not. I'm not trying to hypnotize you. You can't hypnotize someone against their will. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Trust me, we're only doing a guided meditation. So, just relax. Besides, if I were going to hypnotize you, I'd do it with a candle. And then put it right in front of you. A beautiful red tapered candle. You'd see it so very clearly. And I'd light it and tell you to look at the flame. And you would focus only on the candle. Stare at it like it was the only thing that matters in the entire world. But your eyes are closed right now. And they are so very heavy. You couldn't open them even if you tried. Not that you even want to try. I can't be bothered to. You're much too relaxed to do anything at all. You want to keep your eyes closed and just listen to my voice. So you aren't looking at a candle at all. And that means that everything is all right. It means that you can just relax and listen to my voice. And as you keep listening to me, as you keep relaxing more and more, it's possible that you might start to feel a little drowsy. That your head starts to feel a little bit funny. And that's perfectly normal. That's perfectly all right. It's only because you've never been this relaxed before. So you don't need to fight those feelings at all. You can just relax and let go. Because I'm not trying to hypnotize you. There's no red candle. There is no flame. I'm not trying to hypnotize you. But you can still think about what it would be like. Just picture it. You're sitting on the sofa with the red candle in front of you. I'm leaning in behind you, talking softly into your ears. The candle is lit and you're focusing on the flame, staring at it, focusing on it as it flickers and dances. You can see it so clearly. The candle, the flame. It's so nice to look at, so calming. It's the only thing you see. And my voice is the only thing you hear. I tell you to listen to my voice and breathe. And you do. Breathe in and out. Yeah, just like that. It's nice, isn't it? Just sitting there watching the candle. Simply relaxing and listening to my voice. 
letting me take care of everything for a while. That's what being hypnotized is like. It's so nice. So pleasant. You want to be hypnotized? It's such an enjoyable and safe experience. Being hypnotized by someone you trust. And you know you can trust me. So you want me to hypnotize you? Say yes for me, darling. <laughs> yes. You want me to hypnotize you? Of course you do. And it's so easy for me to do so too. Because you're already feeling so drowsy. So heavy and tired and sleepy. You're already completely focused on the sound of my voice. And your thoughts are already becoming quiet and still. Your mind is like the candle flame. Just a small and flickering fire. Dancing to the tune of my words. And when that candle goes out, so does your mind. Focus on the candle. And... Sleep. <laughs> oh, like a light. Well done. Now... I want you to picture a staircase in your mind. A large, ornate staircase leading down. See it in your mind. And take a step down. That's it. Go down the stairs. Follow my instructions. Follow my voice. Follow it down, deeper and deeper, down. Keep going down the stairs, step by step by step. And as you go down the stairs, you notice how good it feels. How good it feels to do what I tell you. To follow my instructions. Keep following my instructions. Keep going down the stairs. Step by step by step. And as you keep going down the stairs, you can leave everything else behind. Let go of everything. As you go deeper and deeper and deeper. There's only my voice. Nothing else matters anymore. You only have to listen. And follow. And go deeper. And you're doing that so very well. Going down the stairs. Going deeper and deeper with every step you take. Going down, 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 down. And as you're going deeper, as you're going down, I want you to notice that with every step you take, the steps are becoming harder to see. Becoming smoky and hazy, like they're evaporating. Dissolving and disappearing entirely. As you keep going down. The stairs are completely gone now. But that doesn't matter at all. You can still go deeper. You can always go deeper. You're just floating now. Drifting and floating deeper and deeper down 
being guided, led by the sound of my voice. You're calm, relaxed, and at peace, feeling so safe and secure, with your mind completely open and receptive to my words. You're completely and deeply hypnotized. That's right. And notice how good that feels. How good it feels to be hypnotized by me. Being so incredibly relaxed. Just listening and accepting everything I say to you. Without a care in the world. Yes, it feels absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And I can make you feel this way again. But for now, it's time to come back to the waking world. So listen to me closely. You're standing in a vast, empty space. It's dark but you feel calm and safe. There's a little pinprick of light high above you. In your mind, I want you to stand with your feet slightly apart. Bend your knees and push off. You jump and you fly. You soar upwards towards the light flying at a fast but steady pace. You can even count down the seconds until you reach the light. Ten. The light in your mind grows bigger and bigger as you get closer and closer to it. Nine. As you go up, 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 up. Eight. Going higher and higher. Seven. And the light grows bigger with every passing moment. Six, you're becoming more and more aware of your body as you get closer and closer to the light. Five, noticing that you're not flying anymore now. Four, you're resting. Your eyes are closed and you're listening to my voice. Three, but the light still keeps growing bigger and bigger in your mind. Two, you reach the light. And one. Open your eyes and look at me. <laughs> Welcome back. Take a nice big stretch for me. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> How was it? Did you like my massage? <laughs> hey, I didn't lie to you. I said I wasn't trying to hypnotize you. And I wasn't. I was succeeding at it. <laughs> and pretty damn well, too, if I'm any judge. You don't mind, do you? You must have wanted me to hypnotize you, after all. Remember what I said? It's impossible to hypnotize anyone against their will. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably should have asked permission before trancing you, but... Well, where's the fun in that? And I wasn't going to do anything wrong to you. Like, besides, it was a bit of an experiment. Telling you what I was trying to do would have skewed the results. Placebos and all that. But don't you worry. I won't hypnotize you ever again. Not unless you ask me very nicely. But why would you do that, huh? It's not like it felt amazing. It's not like you would do anything for me, just as long as I did it again. 
right? Oh, really? So the thought of me hypnotizing you does nothing for you, does it? <laughs> Why don't you look me in the eyes and say that? Hmm? Look into my eyes, pet. And sleep. <laughs> you know, maybe with a couple more sessions, a little more conditioning, one day, that might actually work. In fact, it's going to work. Won't that be fun? <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to ace that practical. Thanks for helping me out, Rumi. I owe you one.